get in. Obama recently addressed the whole UFO question in a serious way recently. Here's what he said. Uh, there's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain uh, how they moved, their trajectory. So, Jeremy, help give a little context to this. Why is it actually a pretty big deal that the government and the Department of Defense seemingly can't explain what these objects are, but are finally willing to talk about them? Yeah, it, it's a sea change. It's a really interesting moment in American history where our government and intelligence agencies are addressing what's right in front of us, which is the, the presence of UFOs on planet Earth. Every president has been talking about this. Jimmy Kimmel is great, by the way. He does ask the hard questions. And even President George W. Bush was shown the, the first piece of uh, imagery that I put out about a month ago, the, the pyramid-shaped UFOs. So now there's this openness to discussing. We, we might not know what they are, but we know what they're not. And when you're looking at this FLIR, <laughs> forward-looking infrared footage, you see it's a spherical object. There's no plumes, no exhaust no traditional propulsion that you could see in the thermal realm. So let's talk about just sort of the realm of possibilities, because I, I think it's important that, it's, you know, we, we were joking about about aliens and that that certainly is the possibility that there is a connection to extraterrestrial life. But there are also, you know, possibilities like this being technology that is being worked on covertly. Well, let's talk about that. So just to give your audience a basic understanding, the U.S. Navy photographed and filmed pyramid-shaped UFOs and spherical advanced transmedium vehicles swarming our Navy warships. So this is an issue with the idea that uh, you could have mid-air collisions, just basic safety. So I obtained and released that footage with my mentor in journalism, George Knapp. And all of this was unclassified, but it was directly confirmed by the Pentagon, which is really cool. So they're starting to talk about this. These are true unknowns. We don't know if this is from an adversarial foreign nation. We we're pretty sure that it's not uh, black budget programs within the United States because nobody that runs those knows what this is. This appears to be, and it, it possibly is, an, a, a beyond next generation technology. So our Defense Department wants to know who has this technology which represents this massive quantum leap in understanding of propulsion? Who has it? What is their intent? Who's operating these vehicles? And so that's where we're at. And now finally, there's an openness that's been uh, lacking for the last 75 years. So why do you think the government is just now coming around to declassifying documents, revealing more to the public about what they've been observing all this time? Yeah, look, uh, they're being forced to. Our intelligence agencies and our politicians and congressmen and you know senators, they are beholden to the American public and the American will. They represent us. So this is actually something that is overdue, where the Senate Intelligence Committee is putting together this mandate to put a report about the UAP or UFO topic. So I think what we're seeing is finally representative uh, representative government taking this issue seriously because of basic safety concerns and, and the threat that this could be a foreign adversarial nation. However, the technologies do appear to be far more advanced than anything ever displayed in the theater of war by any nation on planet Earth. So that's got to tell you something that this is exotic. I will tell you, I've watched that footage so many times. It is just hypnotic. Jeremy, thank you so much. This UFO video does not show a pyramid. There's a triangle shape, but that looks exactly like an effect caused by a bright light being out of focus and a night vision camera with a triangular iris, like this one. Or a triangular lens cover, like this one. This effect is known as bokeh. It's also probably a plane because it blinks in the same pattern as a Boeing 737, and the ship, the USS Russell, was directly under the route for planes flying into Los Angeles from Hawaii and Asia. There are a couple more triangles in the scene. Those are probably stars, because they look exactly like stars taken with a night vision camera out of focus with a triangular iris. There's some bright lights at the start of the Pyramid UFO video. 
That's probably Jupiter and some stars because it matches exactly where Jupiter and some stars were on that day. They don't show up as sharp triangles because the cameraman has not zoomed in yet. But they look the same shape as the supposed flashing pyramid does when it first arrives. There's some points of light in the video that sometimes look like stars. They are not stars. They are random noise, stray electrons in the image intensifier tube. They change from frame to frame. They don't show up as triangles as they form in the image intensifier tube, which is behind the iris, so they are not affected by it. I first saw this video one week ago, on April the 8th. I instantly realized it looked like a plane from the flashing lights, and quickly figured out that Bokeh was the best explanation for the triangular lights. But I had no evidence, and no night vision monocular, and couldn't find a night vision monocular that had a triangular iris. So I tried duplicating it by taping a triangular hole in the front of my regular camera. This gave nice triangles for lights and stars when out of focus. I also found that taping holes in the front of night vision monoculars was actually something people did, although I couldn't find any triangular shapes. Then, a breakthrough. Jesse3959 on Metabunk took a look at his night vision monocular and discovered, hey, it has a triangular iris. I asked him for some footage of lights and stars and he delivered. Then using a styrofoam holder, he recorded the output with his phone. He changed the focus and that changed the size of the triangles. And when he filmed the darker sky, you get exactly the same faint stars and sparkly noise that you do in the pyramid UFO video. Then another breakthrough. A friend told me he had a military style PVS-14 night vision monocular. He taped a triangular hole on the front and got just the same results as with the triangular iris. Lights took on a triangular shape that changed with focus. Stars looked like the faint objects in the Pyramid UFO video, and we get the exact same noise. This PVS-14 footage also shows a circular glare around the triangular bokeh, something that appears in the Pyramid UFO footage and that people thought was evidence that it was actually triangular shaped. But it's not. The circular glare is just spreading light. It happens all through the camera so it looks round and even. The triangle is a different thing, only affected by the front iris or lens cover, so the triangle and circle are independent. So why couldn't the Navy figure this out? Why did they confirm the videos were real? Why does it show up on a slide for the UAP task force described as an unknown unmanned aerial system at 700 feet? Well, the key thing here is that the task force investigates sightings that were initially unidentified. This includes examinations of incursions that are initially reported as UAP when the observer cannot immediately identify what he or she is observing. And I think that's what we're seeing here. These are some lights in the sky that a Navy observer filmed with an accidentally out of focus night vision monocular and a phone. Initially, they were unidentified. Maybe they still are. Maybe some were Chinese drones at 700 feet. Maybe someone misidentified planes heading for Los Angeles. But one thing is pretty clear. They were not pyramids.